What is up, producers? Welcome to Low One Candy. I am Bohemoth, and today I'm going to put you on game to a dope little tip on how to sample from the internet without having to go through a big ordeal of downloading, converting, and doing all that crazy stuff. Very quick, very easy. Let's go. Before we hopped in, I wanted to mention that I'm currently doing one on one mentorship lessons on AbletonLiveTeacher.com. If you're serious about production and you want to get good as quick as possible, it is 100% worth it. Trust me, I've worked with some phenomenal mentors in my life, and I highly recommend it. Also, at this point, I'm doing new videos practically daily, so toss me a like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Let's go. So this particular extension applies to Google Chrome. What we're going to do is we're going to open up Google Chrome, and we're going to type in Google Extensions. Then we're going to click on Extensions. And we're going to search for sample. The first one that comes up here just says sample. It's featured. It looks like this. We're going to click on it and we're going to add to Chrome. Add extension. Now, the cool part about this is it makes it really easy to sample just a little part of a track. So if we go to YouTube here, let's say for old time's sake, we want to sample Rich Homie Kwon. We're going to go through the track and we're going to select the part that we want to sample. So let's say we want to sample like the chorus. So you want to sample just this little line right here. Maybe we'll toss it in Isotope RX and make a remix or something. What we're going to do is all we're going to do is we're going to play it. So all we did is we queued in and we queued out where we wanted the sample and now it's cool because it even gives us these bars where we can set the duration of how of how, where we want the sample so we can choose where we want it to start and stop and now from here all we do is click this little download button we're going to name the sample Quan. We're going to download it and now we actually it's going to be an mp3 because it's from youtube but it actually has uh wave capabilities so if you did have an actual wave file you were sampling it could sample wave so now we have our sample here and that's it that's it which is really cool because if you want to just grab something small from one track you don't have to like youtube to mp3 and then convert it and then trim it and all that so just a cool one I came across. Want to show that to you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.